Good morning. I'm Carl and welcome back to SMA. We're going to do something a little different today. So I'm heading to Maui with my family who are over there. And we are traveling on, I believe it's March 7th, and we're going to Hawaii. We're going to be there for three and a half weeks. It's a 20 year thing at work, my 20th year, so I get extra vacation time. We've been planning for this for a few years, so this is what we're doing. But it, this video is not about that. This video is about the travel. As most of you are well aware, there's a lot of um, coronavirus stuff out there. And uh, today we're gonna do a little video about what it's like to travel um, during, the, during the scare, during, the, during all the fear that, that there is about this. So one of the things that we're doing is we're, we brought hand sanitizer, we've got Clorox wipes, we're wiping down anything that we sit in, um, <coughs> pardon me, um, and the plane and all that sort of thing. So uh, that's what we're doing. My question is what will security be like? How will they handle it going to the airports? We just went through security here in a small regional airport in Northern Michigan. And it, in the, there was no concerns, no testing or anything like that. So we're gonna go forward, see how this all turns out, and hopefully everybody will be happy, healthy, and safe. So we're in O'Hare Airport here. Um, and the thing that has sort of stood out to me here so far is that we have had nobody wearing masks, nobody testing anything. It seems pretty much business as normal, other, other than the fact that it feels like it's pretty empty. Not that many people out here. O'Hare is usually really busy and really packed early in the morning like this and seems quiet. So, so far, so good. So it has been a crazy long day. We got up at 3.30. It is now 3 p.m. Pacific time. So, um, which would be 6 p.m. our time, uh, Eastern time. So it's been a long day and the girls have had a had a rough go at it. So we are in LAX right now. And so sort of a, an update of how things have gone. It's pretty interesting as to how many people actually do are wearing the masks. Um, and so one of the things that I'm seeing with the masks is how many people are wearing like painters masks or bandanas and and things like that and it makes you wonder like is science not a thing anymore because those aren't going to do you any good um, viruses are way too small to be caught by something by a mask in fact, the whole point of the masks are if you're sick already, it helps you from getting other people sick. It doesn't keep you from getting sick, because mostly how you get sick is you touch something, touch your face later, and you get sick. Um, so it's interesting how people have reacted to this. Uh, the other thing that I'm seeing or experiencing is we've, you know, with, I've got two daughters, and uh, particularly the youngest one, like she touches everything. You know, you got these pillars, you got windows, and that. So we got Clorox wipes, we're wiping everything down, and hand sanitizer. Um, and it's uh, it's like this constant fight to try to keep everything clean and try to keep everybody healthy. You know, even beyond just the um, the virus that's going on, we also don't want to deal with you know getting the flu. We we're going on vacation, don't get sick. So uh, it's been a bit of a challenge. Um, so it's. You can definitely feel a tension. Um, people cough and everybody kind of looks around. Um, so it is changing things. Um, as I'm watching people come off the, the planes out over there, you've got a couple people, two, three people with masks there. So it is affecting things. People are affected by it. Uh, it's a little scary, I think, for a lot of people. Uh, frankly, a little scary for myself. Um, you know, they say the older you get, the the worse the, the problems are, um, particularly if you're over 50. And I turned 49 this month, so uh, trying to stay healthy, trying to stay safe. So we will check in with you again in Maui. Bye. So one of the things that we are experiencing here with uh, trying to keep ourselves okay is my poor daughter Bailey here, her hands with the sanitizer are getting kind of rough. 
Uh, show me your hands here real quick. I, I, I um, fixed a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty red though from all the yeah. hand sanitizer because we keep putting it on. We made it here to Hawaii. Um, it's been kind of a crazy run here. As you can tell, I haven't showered, haven't shaved yet. Um, but here's what, what we've, we, we've seen is that the, the further we got along in our trip, the more people were concerned, the more people were talking about it. Um, and people would cough and you could see people kind of look around, which was a shame because like my youngest daughter was getting over a cold from a week ago. And I think she got a couple of looks there. The other thing we've run into is that we got here and we're only here on Maui for two days and then we go over to Oahu and we're there for, for a while. And over there, they actually canceled our reservation. The condo did because they had plumbing issues. And so now we had to book a place that's not as nice, but costs more. Um, so that's, that's really disappointing. But anyways, we're here. Here's our experiences. Um, it's a very, uh, it's a very nervous time. Uh, I just saw on CNN last night that they, uh, that Italy has closed down basically Northern Italy. They've locked it down for traveling uh, and they want people to stay in the house. So this is a fairly scary time. And frankly, if, if this didn't come into this time of my life where, um, I got this extra vacation time this year, uh, I probably wouldn't have traveled myself, but you got to make do with what you got and we're going to go forward with it. So we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.